For this tutorial, I'm plotting Bode magnitude plots. I'm going to start with a differential equation and from that compute the frequency response. Once I have the frequency response, I'm going to manipulate that in order so that I can more easily get the gain and plot the Bode plots. I'll show you how to get the gain, plot a first order poles, plot the sec first order zeros, the second order poles, the second order zeros, and then put it all together. So here we have a rather complicated looking differential equation, but when you compute the frequency response, it factors into a first order zero at 60 radians per second, and a second order zero at an under damped zero at 10 squared, which, well, it's at 10, which, uh, th that's where the 100 is, is 10 squared. In the denominator, we have a first order pole at 2 radians per second, a first order pole at 40 radians per second, and then a second order pole at the square root of 10,000, which is 100. To determine the overall gain, I factor out the corner frequencies and uh, so that all of my constants are 1. In the numerator, I have j omega over 60 plus 1, because I factored out the 60. I also have the second order term where I factored out the 100, put it out front. In the denominator, I factored out the 2, the 40, and the 10,000. The overall gain is the ratio of these numbers out front. So in the numerator, I have 6,000. In the denominator, I have 800,000. The ratio is 0 0.0075, which converted to decibels is minus 42.5 dB. When I now want to plot the first order poles, the black curve corresponds to the pole at 2 radians per second, and the red curve corresponds to the pole at 40 radians per second. Each of them roll off at minus 20 dB per decade. The first order zero at 60 radians per second goes up at 40 dB per, I mean at 20 dB per decade above 60. The second order pole is at 100, the square root of the 10,000, and it rolls off at minus 40 dB per decade. Now I'm ignoring the impact of it being an underdamped system at this point. The second order zero is at 10 radians per second, and it goes up at 40 dB per de decade. Again, I'm just doing straight line approximations for this. Now, I've plotted all the poles and zeros on the same graph, but I haven't combined them yet. How do we combine them? We follow the line, and then we see the first break. It comes down. Now, above 10, we have one going down and one going up. They add together because this one's going up at 40, and this is only going down at 20, minus 20, the sum is going to bring it back up again. And then it'll continue to come up until we get to 40. Now we have something going up at 20 and something coming down at 20, which means we're going to end up going flat between 40 and 100. And at 100, it's going to come down at minus 40 dB per decade. Combining those, what we have is this combined plot. Flat to 2 down at minus 20 dB per decade till we get to 10, up at positive 20 dB per decade till we get to 40, flat between 40 and 100, and then down at minus 40 dB per decade above, above 100. The gain is just where this starts. Instead of starting at 0, which is what those individual plots did, it's going to start at minus 42. The easiest thing for me was to just replace 0 with minus 42 and then just make these same difference. Before it was 0, minus 10, minus 20. Here I've just said minus 42, minus 52, minus 62. That's it.